and welcome back to the Essentials Club. I'm Maddie, and today's tutorial I'm going to be taking you through how to transform these dry palms into a cute home decor. So obviously if it's your style you can leave them as is, but what I'm going to be talking you through is a few different ways that we can cut it and style it around home. So all you'll need for today's tutorial is obviously the dry palms and a pair of scissors. So when it comes to sourcing your palm, we need to seek out this particular style that has a fan shaped leaf. If you google fan palm, a heap of options come up to help you identify them. Once you've found a suitable tree that's accessible, you can either wait for one to fall off, or if you have permission from the landowner, cut one of the already dried palms from the tree. Other places you could get them are by reaching out to a local landscaping or garden maintenance business to put one aside for you, otherwise purchase one from somewhere like Facebook Marketplace. So step one after you've watched this, figure out which style you prefer and have that in mind for when you want to cut. The ones I'm going to show you today is one is a teardrop, one is just a circle, and another one is just this pointed edge style. It would probably be a bit hard to try and map it out and draw it on there before, so what I use is a bit of a guide. You can see that on here, there's kind of like this section where they stay joined at that area and they start to split apart. I tend to just cut around that boundary and that seems to be a bit of a good guide. So for this one, I'm just gonna do a full circle, which means just following that outline all the way around. And once I've done that, I'll make any adjustments if it's like off center or whatnot. But I'll show you how it turns out. Yeah, we have the first one. I've cut it out as a circle as I like that cool fan style and I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out so I probably won't cut any more edges around it. All this leftover stuff I'm just going to put to the side and I'll show you a few different things that you can do with it. So number one done and I'm going to move on to the next one. So for this next one I'm going to do the pointy edge style. So again what we'll do is we'll find that border area where the joint area seems to start splitting and I'm just going to cut around that in a bit of like a semicircle or full circle style and then I'll show you how we cut the pointed edges. And there we go, once again we have one of those like semicircle styles and from here I'm literally just going to find every individual leaf or whatever you call it and start cutting a bit of a triangle on each top and then it will start having these cool little pointy edges. And this is how it turns out. So there were a few times there where I had no idea which leaf was which and I just kind of had to forge my own way through and maybe cut through multiple at a time. But I think that kind of turned out really cute. And lucky last, this one I'm going to cut into a teardrop style. So again, we're just following that border where it starts to separate, but instead of going around in a circle, we kind of come to a point and then come back down and around. So this is how the teardrop one turned out. I'm not sure exactly which one is my favorite, but I feel like I have a soft spot for this style for some reason. Well, I'll show you how I style the three of these and what I did with that extra off cuts and how you can style them as well. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm curious to know, what was your favorite? Did you have any preferred styles that I cut or do you even have any different ways that you cut your dry palms? I'd love to know. Tag me if you do end up making one of these yourself as I love seeing how your DIY creations turn out. Otherwise, thanks for joining me and I will see you on the next tutorial.